Welcome to this PowerPoint on adaptations. So I like to start with definitions so we're clear on what we mean. An adaptation is a characteristic that enables an organism to be successful in its environment. By characteristic we might be talking about fur, claws, teeth, or we could be talking about a behavioural adaptation like a chimp using tools for example. Here we've got an image of a chimp using a tool to get a termite in a termite mound. Uh, what does the definition mean by successful? Well, in biological terms, successful means surviving to reproduce and successfully pass on your genes to the next generation. So that's the definition. Let's have a look at some examples. A commonly used example when people are talking about adaptations is the polar bear. It's got a white appearance, so to camouflage it from its prey on the snow and ice so it can creep up on its prey. And this helps the polar bear catch its prey, feed and ultimately survive. Successful hunting also allows the polar bear to feed its offspring. Thick layers of fat and fur keep the bear from dying in extreme cold conditions. A small surface area. Now, all animals lose heat through their surface. We lose heat through our skin. So if you've got a lot of surface compared to your volume, a lot of skin, if you like, compared to your insides, you're going to lose heat quickly. So a polar bear has a small surface area to volume ratio. Creatures in hot conditions often have large ears to increase the surface area, and this helps them, helps them to lose heat. You'll have a good idea of the climates of these three foxes by looking at their ears and the colour of their coats. Other adaptations of polar bears include waterproof fur, large feet to spread their weight. This helps prevent the bear's feet from sinking into the snow. Let's talk about adaptations of hot climates. When a camel puts its weight on its foot, it spreads its foot out, and this helps to stop its foot sinking into the sand, just like the polar bear on the, on the uh, ice and snow. The thick fur on a camel's back shades its body in the daytime and insulates its body in the cold desert night. Where the polar bear had a small surface area, the camel has a large surface area through which it loses its heat. Adaptations of the kidneys means a camel loses very little water through urination and its long eyelashes and slit-like nostrils keep the sand out. Now there are certain adaptations that enable predators to be really, really efficient hunters. Forward-facing eyes give predators excellent distance and depth perception, and that's really important when they're chasing and bringing down prey. Sharp teeth and claws for immobilizing prey, and camouflage allows the predator to sneak up on the uh, prey animal. Adaptations of prey include eyes on the side of the head. Now this gives them nearly 360 degree vision and this makes it really difficult to creep up on them. They often live in groups like flocks or herds or shoals and this makes it difficult for a predator to zero in on one particular creature. And it also means that one or, or a few could act as a lookout while the others feed. Camouflage helps them stay hidden from predators and some prey, prey animals have also developed stings or poisons to prevent attacks from predators. Right, finally, let's talk about the counter-current exchange mechanism. This is quite a specific example of an adaptation. When penguins stand on the ice, their feet are obviously going to get really, really cold. Now, if that chilled blood were to be pumped back up into the body, the penguin would freeze from the inside. So to prevent this happening, warm blood moving down the legs in the arteries is right next to the cold venous blood coming back from the feet. So the cold blood gets warmed before it gets back to the body. This happens in lots of species. An animal and a plant is always adapted in some way to their environment. And those who are better adapted tend to live long enough to pass their genes on to the next generation. And that is the beginning of the story of evolution. So there we are, very, very quick coverage of some adaptations. Thank you very much for watching.